it's not big enough. Yes, yeah, shut up, Angie! Lisa, we're ready for you whenever you want to come join our picnic. Joined with the director of Picnic, Miss Lisa Brescia. Bear Brescia. Bear Bre I love that. Since your show is about a picnic, yeah. could we have a picnic with you? Please. What are we gonna eat? Lisa, have you ever had a lunchable? Um, no, I have haven't. Great. We've got three different okay. things for you to choose from. We have some nacho cheese dip and salsa, uh -huh. ham and cheddar. Turkey and American. Uh, I'm gonna have the turkey and American because okay. I'm on keto. Oh no. Have you ever had either a Capri Sun <laughs> or Holy Jammer? No, I, I haven't had either. <laughs> I haven't lived. I'm a little scared of this um, meat, <laughs> cheese product. It looks delicious. Yes. Oh, bon appetit. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. Mm. All right, Lisa. Okay, what's up? Let's get down to business. Tell us a little bit about this, this singular picnic that that you're having. Well, it's Kansas, right? Early 50s, and uh, there's a picnic. A town picnic, Labor Day, and it's a big deal to the people who live there. It's a sleepy little town, not a lot of cabins. Wake up, it's right? It's the drama. Everybody's just excited. You know, they have clothes to wear, they're, they're all getting all dressed up, they're going to have food, but, well, no, no food. Can't be no, they're going to be having free songs. <laughs> Kool-Aid Kool This gentleman, well, he's a bit of a drifter, comes on this town because he wants to reconnect with an old buddy who lives there. And he's really handsome and masculine and fascinating oh. and things happen. We, we've kind of shown you, you know, what we bring to the, to the picnic game, uh, to the picnic table. <laughs> we were wondering, would it be possible if maybe we could come to the, to, to the picnic that you're having? Well, you know, in the play, uh, we don't actually see the picnic, but there's a lot of really amazing stuff that happens off stage, oh. as well as on stage. So you could join us in the off stage activities. Okay. Why should people come and see this non-picnic picnic? I think it's some. There's something for everyone in the play because we can identify with feeling like the other, feeling like we're out of place, feeling like we don't fit in. I think everybody can identify with that to some degree. There's a lot of humor in the script, but also a lot of pain and longing. And I think that the picnic represents an event happening in this sleepy town where it's the same thing, day after day after day. And this Labor Day picnic represents fun and connection, and things get a little wild. Um, and I think these people kind of need just like I need some more cheese product. The product. Cheese product. It's what I needed, and I didn't even know it. That's what picnic is all about. about. It's what you need, and you didn't even know it. It opens tonight, and it runs for quite a while. All weekend, and all <laughs> next week, and into the following week. So tickets are going fast. Go get them, and come support your fellow bears. Anything else you'd like to say before we TNG wrap it up? Oh. Good to be back. Hey there, TNG Bears. Make sure you keep an eye out on the Snapchat. We've got a picnic casting crew takeover coming for you. What is up, Instagram? It is your boy, Steven. This week, we have the opening of Picnic. So get ready for a glorious Instagram takeover. Hey, everyone. It's Haley. Check out the Twitter in the next couple of weeks for posts about Picnic, design production applications, and more auditions. Hey Bears, stay tuned on Facebook to see a video about the process of student work and how it is produced and more behind the scenes of Picnic.